Never gonna quit, never gonna stop Push yourself hard till you reach the top Never gonna quit, never gonna stop Push yourself, put yourself to the Started with Pepper Pursley, nine-year-old journalist Pepper. Hi, Courtney. Congrats on all of your recent accomplishments, breaking the assist record and being player of the month. What does it mean to you to have your record-breaking assist be to your wife? Oh, that, it was pretty special. Um, you know, that whole sequence of events um, was really, really special to me and something I'll remember my, for the rest of my life. Um, but having it be Allie that made the, the big shots and seeing the smile on her face, um, those are moments, you know, it gives me the chills and, and this is what we work so hard for. Thank you so much. Thanks, Pepper. Eric Wilson. Hey, Court, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm all right. So, uh, yes, again, congratulations. Uh, Coach Wade said something interesting that I want to ask you. He said that uh, when a player who's pretty much done a lot and is receiving all these awards and accolades and continually being talked about, they start to, their mindset changes a little bit. Has yours changed this season with everything that you've accomplished so far? Um, <laughs> I like to say no, it hasn't because um, at, the, at, the, at the end of the day, it's just like, I don't know, I, I'm out here doing what I do. Like I work hard for this. Um, this is something, you know, like I don't come out here trying to break records or being the player of the month. Like that's not my motivation. Um, my motivation is my teammates and winning and, you know, all of those things are coming along with it, which is absolutely a, a, amazing and, and such a great honor. I'm not trying to downplay that at all, but um, when my, when I go out there on the court, my mindset is the same. It's to be the best version of myself. Um, to help the team win. And along those lines, you know, we're getting down to the end of the regular season. How much more dialed in and focused are you these last couple of games before playoffs? Well, well more than ever, because we're in a really, you know, exciting spot. Um, we have the opportunity to, you know, string together some wins and, and go higher in the standings, but we also have the, we could do the opposite, you know, is in, if we lose focus, we could drop. So, um, you know, we're really locked in. We have one, we're, we're focused on one game at a time. Um, Minnesota is a team that's kind of been on the calendar for a while for us um, because of the, the first game against them and they're playing so well right now. They're such a, a tough team. Um, and I think this is going to say, this game is going to be, a, you know, a big, uh, dictator, I guess, for us to see to see where we are um, this late in the season and, and um, where we will continue to be. Appreciate it. Thank you, Court. Thanks. Michelle Vopo. Hey, Courtney. Awesome job last night. Um, and congrats. Well deserved. One of the people I saw was incredibly excited for you is the woman whose record you broke, uh, Tisha Penichero. I wonder, is there there sort of a, a do you sense a sort of a sisterhood or camaraderie among point guards in particular because let's face it you guys um no point guard's been mvp even though a lot of you have had so much to do with winning but i think there's a mentality of a point guard it's about everybody else birds like that you're like that tisha's like that i'm wondering do you sense is there sort of a i, I don't know if sisterhood is too corny a word but a a, a shared mentality among point guards and could you also tell me who were your maybe point guard heroes when you were growing up, maybe on the men's and women's side? Um, definitely. Uh, when I for, played for Pokey, you know, she was a point guard and she always called us PG Nation. And that's something that kind of stuck with me. And, you know, I've always find myself kind of, you know, rooting for point guards um, because I think the position is obviously so special and, and a lot of players don't get the credit that they deserve. A lot of point guards. Um, you know, and there's there's a few in the league. So I definitely think, you know, and there's something that about it, you can't help but root for your, your fellow point guard. Um, and that's kind of what Tisha has always been. Um, she's always been, you know, she set the bar really high um, throughout her career. And but she's always rooted for me every time I have broken one of her records. So I think that's really special. Um, and what was the second part? 
Well, well, did you have any? Do you have any point guards you oh, yeah, looked yeah. up to, either on men's or, or women's side? That you know, you just thought, hey, I really love the way these people these people play. Um, well, of course, you know, being from Seattle, Sue Bird was somebody that I always, you know, looked up to. But um, also, I think Lindsay Whalen, uh, just her toughness, and you know, I think um, I'm actually I actually play more similar to her than I think I do Sue Bird, even though they love the Sue Bird comparison. Um, but those two, and of course, Tisha, and then on the men's side, you know, I was a Gary Payton fan. I was a Sonic fan. So those were my like point guards growing up. Um, you know, everyone brings something, every one of them brings something different and special to the game. So I kind of, you know, pick and choose of what, what I like about each one of them. And it's always something special, you know. If I could follow up real quick, one of the things that um, that James said is you don't get enough credit for your defense. You know, we everybody sees the the offense and thinks you're an offensive player. Can you talk about how you've progressed in your all around game? Um, you know, as a floor general, but also as a defensive player. Um, well, I think just like as I got more experienced. Um, you know, I, I never wanted to be the weak link in, in defense, and I never wanted to be easily attacked. Um, you know, as a point guard, getting through ball screens is one of the, you know, the biggest things that you're defending a lot of ball screens. So that was something that I've um, focused on and worked on my entire career is just be able to get through screens, uh, making it easier on my post players so they don't have to do as much. So, um, you know, just be, just being able, because I'm not going to be always be scoring a lot, and, you know, uh, the assist is kind of, sometimes it's there. So I want to, I always want to impact the game more ways than, than that. And I think that's, um, you know, really important to your team success is if you have your point guard doing more than just uh, passing, I guess. Thank you. Aaron Walling. Hi, Courtney. Uh, so, you, so much. you know, when you got that, that last assist, what was going through your head as you, as you broke the record? Um, well, I, I was just like kind of in shock. Honestly, I thought that that record was untouchable. I really did. I never thought that I would get there because I had been close. Um, and you know, 16 assists is just, it's a lot. And so at that moment, I just kind of had this just, you know, it was just kind of a warm feeling inside, like, cause I could see everyone just cheering and, and wanting me to get it so bad. That was like, you know, that feeling that just, you feel so loved and, and important and um, to, the, to be able to do it with the group that I did. Um, I, and there's no other way to describe it to me than just special. And uh, as you're coming off the court, you know, we saw that video of you and your teammates celebrating. What's it mean to you to be able to celebrate with those, with those players in, in this roster? Well, it means everything um, because, you know, they do the work and I get the credit for it. Um, and they absolutely, that does not bother them at all. And so it just says a lot to, about the, the group that, that, that we have here and how special we all are and how much, yeah. you know, sacrifice we do, we will for each other's successes and as a team. Um, so, you know, like I said, it's just, it's a really, really special group and it was a really, really special moment. And uh, my final question for you would be is, uh, Ruthie had a double-double last night. Uh, what can you say about her uh, progression in her uh, young career? Well, Ruthie has been awesome. She's just continued to get better throughout the, the season. Um, the, the way she's just improved in sh such a short amount of time and really have stepped up for us when, when we really need her the most. Um, you know, I think she's gonna, we're going to continue to just use her. Um, she's gonna, only going to get better. And, you know, I, I think last night was a – uh, I, I called one one of her games like a coming out party, but I think last night was a, a, was another one um, because you really she really could show that she was what she could do at this level, um, and and that was huge for us. All right, thanks, Cordy. Hey, Courtney, congrats again. Seems to be just a daily occurrence. Um, just over the last, you know, 24 hours or so, you've talked a lot about the ebbs and flows of it, just the WMA season in general. What has, you know, the 100-point victory, 100-point total, your multiple awards, what has that done for this team's confidence? Um, it's it, it's it's always nice to, you know, have a high-scoring game where you win. Uh, but – like I said, you just got to stay, you know, your high shouldn't get too high. We got to keep our lows not so low. It's just kind of one of those things that, uh, you know, we're going to ride this way for as much as for as long as we can um, continue to just improve and try and, and, and be closer to playoffs.
And looking ahead to tomorrow versus Minnesota, what have you seen just on the field from them? Coach Wade said that they're a very different team than they were, you know, basically a month ago. So what do you see differently from them as they played, you know, this good stretch of games? Well, they're, they're playing really well. They've had um, players step up ever since Sylvia's gone out. Um, Dangerfield's playing awesome. Collier, of, of course, is playing great. Um, they, but they, they're such a um, – they play such, like, good team basketball. Um, they play well together. They, de they defend well. Um, they're, they're hard to play against. Um, and, you know, Odyssey coming back, I think that has given them a little, uh, like, comfort, you know, like having, having your player back. So, you know, we just got to make it, make it difficult and continue to play our ball. And, and um, yeah, that's it. Congrats again, Courtney. Thank you. We're dedicating this season to social justice. We're challenging you, the fans, to join us. Sky Takes Action means equality. Providing opportunities. Making an immediate impact means justice. Sky Takes Action means bringing the community together. Serving others means family. Sky Takes Action means doing your part. Is encouraging others to do more, period. Sky Takes Action means using our platform to create change. Real change. We've partnered with Athletes for Justice to raise money for Chicago-based charities that are fighting for equality for all. For all.